the number one defensive team in the NBA. So uh, the Warriors got serious in the second half with the defense. They won that ball game. The Blazers never could get a stop on the Warriors. And the Blazers have 15 three-pointers at the close of the game tonight. One of us had to do a nice job of scoring. Well, once again, like they, the games the Clippers have won this year, we built up the battle of the power forwards, and, and in the first half it was for all of us. But the second half turned into a battle of the backcourts, and once again, the coach backcourt. Daddy's you know, looking at my new The laser starting backcourt, 60 to 31 right now. Yeah, they, they're so good at mid range shots, Chris Paul, and, and, and it's really difficult because the Blazers' offense, that's what they give up. Griffin down the middle, who's the foul on? Let's take a look and see if Griffin, who did get him, as Lopez and Aldridge kind of looked at each other. Oh, he just lost, oh, he just lost the ball. He lost the ball going up. No one hit him. Terry Stotts will put CJ McCollum back in. And it's interesting, Robin Lopez scored two field goals in the opening minute. And had one in the opening minute in the second half. And that's it. And they had the free throw. But it was, they were going on that pick and roll, and it was working. And that's not to suggest the Clippers didn't do something to take it away, but they didn't. Not really. They, 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 you know, the, the guys that were trying to score just weren't looking for them. Miller to a follow. CJ. For three. And he hit it over Reddick. Still 117 left. The Blazers down seven. CJ is going to be a uh, help in the playoffs. The guy is gaining confidence. He can shoot, he can get his own shot. The two go up for the steal. This is where, you know, in a lot of places, but Wesley Matthews in these situations with the quick hands, so good at stripping players away. We've seen him do it time and time again. Chris Paul, 37. And the Blazers protect that middle even late in the game. Lillard spins, lets the three fly. He was short, took off after it. Ooh, and Lillard gets shoved into the bench by Barnes and slammed into the chair. And a couple of Blazers didn't like that shove by Barnes. We could see it pretty clearly from this side. Boy, you know, watch Barnes here with the left arm. It's not a good angle. Wow, you don't want, you don't want that to happen. There's the shove there. A little, little off balance. Slipping into the Gatorade. Coolers, but it didn't appear anything sinister on the part of Barnes there. Just going after the loose ball. Let's take a look here and see if we can. There was the look that we got kind of the end that we had, and you could see Lillard. His velocity increases the two came together. Missed the second, always trying to tip it in. Here he did. Got it back, scores, and it's foul. So a chance now to cut the lead to five with still 44 seconds left. And the Clippers are saying not again. <laughs> As Portland did this to them in early March. Albrecht had 20 points at halftime. He has 26 right now. And he's third in all forwards and second chance points and he fought for that one. They have the ball. You would think five down, you would do a little more double teaming and get the ball out of Paul's hands. Because he'll just run the clock down. The two looking for the steal doesn't want a foul. Here's Paul against Aldridge. Shot clock at five. Step back three. Long rebound grab by. Oh, loose ball foul to Andre Jordan. That'll be two free throws with the clock dead for Aldridge and a chance to make it a one possession game. 
almost took a hard fall as he and Jordan came together right there. Once again, not a smart foul at all. Yeah, they're going after the ball. Though. And if you're wondering, the only time they can foul Jordan is if he touches it. And Chris Paul is going to make sure that the Andre Jordan will not touch a ball in the offense. So to have any kind of a chance here, and you've got to make your free throws here late. Aldridge to the free throw line with his big clutch, and Blake will check in. the grease in this league. That's yeah. the one lesson we've learned. It's back. That ball deflected by Batum. Shot clock at three. Blake Griffin steps back for a three, which is technically a travel, but he hits the three anyway. Yeah, well, in the NBA, you're, if you see the line down there, you, you're allowed to jump, and that's what Stotts is asking him. How can he jump behind the line without dribbling? Number 73. Here's Lillard inside the Lopez is off to the good start offensively. Missed it, got it back, and then was fouled. And Lopez four points, four rebounds already, and now a couple of free throws. Yeah, you know, if you look at what Lopez is doing, you're playing against the guy that averages 10 defensive rebounds a game, Jordan. So the Blazers are, you know, really keeping the floor spaced well. That opens up the middle for Lopez, an excellent foul shooter, unlike a lot of the centers in the NBA. Lopez, though, is down to 76% with some struggles here in the second half of the season. He's trying to get that average back up. Blake out of the ball game. C.J. McCollum in. I know Jordan would love to have 76% behind his name. Yeah, DeAndre, he had a couple of big ones last night, but 39% on the season. 163 for 419. He gets to the line line. And as fans remember, as Lopez just did hit the first one, missed the second one. The Blazers went to the fouling Jordan philosophy late in that game, and that's what got him back in the game. Yes. They had the injury run in the final minute and 25. They said they gave overtime and then won it in the So as much oh, as some people don't like the philosophy, has worked for Portland in the past. DeAndre Jordan, there he is right there. That tip over. Logan. Chris Paul inside dropped it to Jordan. And Jordan flips it up and in. And that's when we talked in the pregame show about Chris Paul, 46% of their offense comes through his scoring or his assist. And you can see Blake Griffin gets all kinds of great shots from Chris Paul along with Jordan. Aldridge off the back foot. Not much you can do about that one if you're the defender. Blazers, by the way, we're up with 425 left. Text Blazers down to 90421 for your coupon. He's loving there's going to be some scoring. Excellent. And Dr. Paul's time. It's a two point game. I'll take him here. CJ McCollum came alive. This since the 
the all-star break. 13 points in 13 minutes tonight. Yeah, that's it. They're going to him against Redding. 20-second timeout brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings, your destination for the home game hookup shuttle and away game viewing parties. Buffalo Wild Wings, wings, beer, sports. As I mentioned, after the ball game tonight, and Mr. Ball Crawford and the Clippers don't have back yet, and would love to have, he'll only add yeah. to what they can do in the playoffs. But uh, coming up after the game on Comcast Sportsnet, he's talking ball that starts immediately after the game, and then following that is Trailblazers. Seconds left. Blazers have had some dramatic wins this year in situations like this. One of them was over the Clippers back in March. And that was a smart timeout. I couldn't believe that the Clippers were going to take it under their own basket. And one big thing to remember is Portland has a timeout left. Which is huge because they can advance it if the Clippers should split the free throws. Yeah, you never take it out of the game. You get an interception, and you can win the game. Whereas at half court, with five seconds to go, even if the Blazers intercept, they've got to go down and score. So, out of desperation, they call the timeout. So Matt Barnes will inbound. Get it to Paul. Paul to the free throw line, 89% on the season. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, Paul is a crunch time. It's not Nick God that in can make foul shots like Chris Paul. Jamal Crawford, excellent foul shooter. Series, but Clippers dance. 